It's trying to strike at that balance between being realistic and being optimistic. 2020 is over, but its effects will leak into 2021, just as what happened in 2019 carried over into 2020 in the form of a virus which emerged in China in late 2019. We're still in the middle of it. Within months, it was here, shutting down our country, our economy, keeping us apart from our loved ones, taking friends and family away from us permanently. Riots, a heated presidential election. Make America great again. One thing after another. The toll has been significant, which means it is going to take time for all of us uh, to recover like it would from any other type of trauma. Dr. David Gutterman, clinical director of Labauer Behavioral Medicine, says the emotional toll the pandemics had on us is still piling. It's going to take months and months for us to unpack and understand that. And we're heading into a season that, as we begin a new year, won't make it any easier on people to recover. Gloomy, cold, short days, long nights. They call it seasonal affective disorder when you don't have much uh, sun around you and that sort of thing. And that is a difficult time of year under normal circumstances. We're going into the winter this year already somewhat emotionally depleted. He says it's important to be prepared for that. Getting outside when the sun's out, exercising, eating healthy. Making sure you balance your life with if you have work activities, making sure you balance it with um, social activities. And maintaining relationships, even if it has to be through screens. The vaccine has made us all very optimistic and all very hopeful. The part where we have to be realistic is how that's going to roll out. But Gutterman isn't calling the idea of 2021 false hope. It is important to hold on to that hope that 2021 is going to be um, uh, a better year. Now, the, the bar is set kind of low, but it's going to be a better year than uh, 2020. Because we haven't given up yet. And the more we come together while staying apart, the sooner we can bring the hope 2021 presents to life. We all are in this together, as we've heard many, many times. We all have to make sure we do our parts for the greater good.